Hey guys, Lucas here and today I'm actually pretty excited to show you something which I um, incredibly enjoy. Now as many of you might already know I love to use Jekyll as my um, static site generator so to create my pages and today it's time to show you a real life example why Jekyll is so powerful. So this is my page and this is the um, HTML and now I have this page where you can buy um, custom premium illustrations for commercial use. These illustrations have a price which currently is $15. So in the future this price might change. So usually I would need to check my whole page like in the HTML and I would need to alter the price manually. But as my site gets bigger it could become um, pretty rough to change all these numbers. So that is where Jekyll comes in. Because with Jekyll you can simply add a command and all the places where I want the price to be visible will show the price. Then I can change um, the price from one place and Jekyll would, uh, will apply this price to all of the pages where I have previously used it. So now let me show you. If we go to free illustrations and you see um, the price right here, then I go to HTML and there is the $15 price. So to make this more dynamic, I will instead write site price which is a markdown command markdown is a um, language that jekyll is using and now jekyll will um, apply the price i will show you in a second where i will uh, change it so that jekyll will apply it everywhere else so now let's first copy this site price everywhere on the page where the current price is with and now let's add it to store right here and we can also add it right here awesome and now with Jekyll, there's this um, config file right here. So this is where all your settings, your overall site settings um, are saved. For instance, you will um, find the title of your page and also your email. Now the thing is, price isn't something that is um, included by default because we have said before site price. So what Jekyll does is it will check the config file, so the site settings, and then it will look for something which is called price. Currently we don't have it, so we can simply add it by saying price and like this. And now we are going simply to say $15. Now let's save it. All right, now I have reloaded the page and as you can see, here it is, 15 bucks, which is exactly in this price right here. And now when something uh, will change about the price, I can simply go to my config file at this price right here and Jekyll will um, apply this price to all of the pages. So small things like these um, are the reason that I love Jekyll and it's also the reason why it um, saves you so much time. And also let me show you something else. So every page has a header, right? If you have a um, static page, you would need to, if you change something in a header, you, you would need to change it in on every page, right? But what Jekyll does is Jekyll works with includes. So we can create, um, for instance, a header include and then we can add it to every page where we want the header to be which is pretty awesome and this is also something which will save you um, a lot of time so as you can see Jekyll is very powerful and it's also free so try it out if you have any questions about Jekyll let me know in the comments otherwise I hate to be that guy but um, if you click if you could click the like button this would be pretty awesome you don't have to smash the like button just click it and it would be much appreciated Otherwise, have fun and see you next time. Bye-bye.